Hello, welcome to Dia's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make this very delicious fish pickle. Here I have some salmon which I've cut into cubes. You can use any fish that you like. Mostly people prefer using fish that has a hard flesh but uh, I think you can use any kind of fish. To this I'm adding some turmeric powder, chili powder and some salt. I'm going to set this aside to marinate for at least half an hour after mixing it well. So after about 30 minutes heat up a pan and add some oil to this and when the oil is hot enough let's fry all the fish. Now just fry it until the outside of the fish turns very crispy. Don't fry it for a very long time. Then the fish will turn out kind of rubbery and very hard. It still has to be soft on the inside. So once that is done set the fish aside and in another pan add some oil. And we are going to saute some ginger garlic paste to this. Add around 3 to 4 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste is what gives a very nice flavor to this pickle. So add a generous amount of ginger garlic paste. Let's saute this well to get rid of all the raw smell. So after sauteing the ginger garlic paste for about 5 minutes, let's add some chili powder to this. So I am adding about 4 tablespoons of, of uh, chili powder. You can add as much as you like according to your taste. If you like it very hot, add a lot. If not, add little. So add some turmeric powder also. and some asafoetida and some salt again add salt according to your taste it differs from person to person and make sure to keep stirring this and make sure that the heat is on medium otherwise all these spices will get burnt and make sure to keep stirring So after stirring for around 5 minutes, let's add in all the fish that we fried. And let's mix this well and let's uh, cook this for around 10 more minutes. We are doing this so that all the spices in the oil will get infused into the fried fish. So here you can see that the oil is bubbling. Now our fish pickle is ready. Uh, make sure to cool this down before you store it in a container. So here you can see that I've stored it in a mason jar. So make sure to cool it down completely before you transfer it to a container. Otherwise the steam will make this go bad. So please do try this recipe and please do let me know how it turned out for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.